Judicial Watch today released 281 pages of newly uncovered emails of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton from the U.S. Department of State sent and received over her unsecure, non-state.gov email system. The emails, dated 2010 through 2013, contain classified information and detail collusion between the Clinton State Department and the Clinton Foundation. Ten emails contain classified information redacted in the interest of national defense or foreign policy, including confidential sources and concern Israel and the Middle East. Most of the emails include exchanges with former British Prime Minister Tony Blair. The emails show Hillary Clinton conducted classified and sensitive negotiations about the Israel-Arab conflict on her unsecure, non-governmental server. A document labeled plan was completely redacted as classified. A November 2012 email chain discusses the Mideast and includes then-Deputy Chief of Staff Jake Sullivan, Blair has acted in Clinton. Another November 2012 email chain discusses the Mideast and includes Sullivan, Clinton's office manager Claire Coleman, Blair, and Clinton. A November 2012 email chain fully redacted is titled Mideast Peace and includes Blair, Clinton, Obama's special envoy to the Middle East David Hale as email protected, Sullivan and Blair's chief of staff, and former Downing Street aide Catherine Rimmer. In an April 2011 email exchange between Blair, Clinton, and Sullivan concerning Israel, Blair says he had another long session with BB Netanyahu. A May 2011 exchange concerns Israel and includes Blair, Clinton, and Sullivan. A May 2011 email concerns Palestinians and includes Blair, Clinton, and Sullivan. Blair says, I've also sent you a paper. A June 2011 email regarding Israel includes Blair, Sullivan, and Clinton. Blair says, saw Israeli PM. Put the concept of a Q statement. He was receptive. Palestinians interested too. I know there are discussions also you guys are having. And the French initiative. In a July 2011 email, with several national security redactions, written by Blair to Clinton and Sullivan, Blair says, I saw BB. Molcho chief negotiator and the Israeli negotiating team with the Palestinians will speak to David Hale. I can see Cameron and Sarkozy with David. I saw Egyptians. A September 2010 email exchange is titled Info for You and includes Sullivan, Blair, and Clinton. Blair writes that he just spent three hours with Netanyahu and Sullivan using his Sprint Blackberry. He writes we have pitched this to Redacted. These new classified and other emails appear to be among those that Clinton had attempted to delete or had otherwise failed to disclose. The documents are part of the November 2017 accelerated schedule of production ordered by you. S. District Court Judge James E. Boisberg. The State Department must now complete processing the remaining documents by September 28, 2018. There were 72,000 pages recovered by the FBI in its investigation into Hillary Clinton's illicit email server. The State Department's original production rate would have put the completion date into 2020. The newly obtained documents came in response to a Judicial Watch Freedom of Information Act FOIA, lawsuit filed on May 6, 2015, after the State Department failed to respond to a March 4, 2015, FOIA request, Judicial Watch v. 
U.S. Department of State, No. 115 CV00687, seeking, all emails sent or received by former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton in her official capacity as Secretary of State, as well as all emails by other State Department employees to Secretary Clinton regarding her non-state. Gov email address. Many of the emails involve Abaddon, who joined the State Department as Deputy Chief of Staff in 2009. From June 2012 February 2013, she was granted status as a special government employee, allowing her to work as a consultant to clients like Tinio and served as a paid consultant to the Clinton Foundation. Several of the emails demonstrate the commingling of Clinton State Department and Clinton Family Foundation business in a November 2010 email with subject line, How do I get through to Bill Clinton? Rafael Anchia, a lawyer with Haynes Boone, asks Clinton campaign official Ed Meyer if he could get to the gatekeepers to get Bill Clinton to give a speech in Spain, noting that a large bank is willing to pay for it. Meyer forwarded the email to former State Department Deputy Chief of Staff Jake Sullivan who forwarded it to former Deputy Chief of Staff Huma Abedin. Abedin sent it to Bill Clinton's scheduler at the Clinton Foundation, Terry Krinvik, who provided Clinton's contact information, to which Sullivan responded, awesome. In September 2011, Abaddon sent Sullivan an email concerning the Clinton Global Initiative CGI, with potential questions for closing plenary conversation between Secretary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton in which Abaddon included some proposed questions to put to Hillary and Chelsea Clinton. Four days later, Sullivan forwards a revised list of questions, completely redacted as interagency deliberative process, to Abaddon and Clinton's chief of staff, Cheryl Mills, saying, here are my proposed questions. In a September 2010 email containing subject line, President Banda's Mu Memorandum of Understanding with Clinton Global Initiative, U. S. Ambassador Janine Jackson writes to Clinton Development Initiative official Walker Morris, CCD to Clinton Foundation official Ahmed Abdezai, discussing State Department spending in the country of Malawi. In the email, Jackson says, we will be anxious to collaborate once you have an idea of the MOO's intent. Morris responds that we are very excited about CDI's Clinton Development Initiative future work in Malawi and certainly see great opportunity to collaborate. The Clinton Foundation work in Malawi involved a Clinton Foundation-owned for-profit agribusinesses including two Kila Farming Company which operates 7,200 acres of commercial farms in the impoverished country. Other emails show that Bill Clinton appears to conduct State Department and Clinton Foundation business simultaneously in a September 2012 email with subject line Burma, Desai briefs Jake Sullivan on Bill Clinton's discussions in Burma. Desai reports, in part, WJC mentioned work of CF Clinton Foundation and offered to help in any way. T.S. Than Shui, president of Burma said he already had asked HRC about WJC Foundation and wanted to invite WJC Foundation to work in Myanmar in collaboration with gov agencies and other NYOs, T.S. invited WJC to open offices in Rangoon and Mandalay. That same day, Abaddon writes Desai, CC's Mills, Sullivan, Fuchs and three other persons whose email address are redacted, with subject line re, he had the good meeting with Libya and Burma, HRC looking forward to hearing about Burma. We meet at 545. I believe you have downloaded to Jake. In a September 2012 email with subject line Colombia President Santos, Desai and Toiv discuss a request by Colombian President Manuel Santos that Bill Clinton say some positive words about Santos's initiative reaching out to the FARC terrorist group. Santos provided the Clinton Foundation with suggested language. Toiv said that she would check and also mentioned that she was working on a visa issue. 
According to a report in the New York Post, the Santos request came not long after Clinton jetted in for a Pacific Ruby Ales golf tournament at the Bogota Country Club, accompanied by Giustra. He played a few holes with Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos. The event reportedly raised $1 million for the Clinton Foundation. It is shameful that Hillary Clinton attempted to delete or hide classified information and that Obama appointees James Comey and Loretta Lynch refused to prosecute her, said Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. It is clear that the Clintons were using the State Department to run an extensive influence peddling scheme. Americans should be concerned that, while untold resources are devoted to the abusive Mueller special counsel investigation of President Trump, this Justice Department seems uninterested in prosecuting the Clintons. Source Judicial Watch